the idea behind Mon Health is to get men talking about their depression in a peer group setting. And why? Why now? Because I've suffered from depression for many, many years myself and never, ever spoke about it to anybody. And actually, there's, there's, it's an interesting story. I bumped into a chap I, I knew many, many years ago and uh, I could see he was really, really struggling with depression and he was there was a possibility of him harming himself. Got talking to him and, and I developed the idea for Man Health because I could, I could see the benefits of talking to him on a daily basis. And it also helped me as well talk about my depression. And that's the thing that we hear so often now, isn't it? That men particularly, because women are guilty of it as well, but men particularly don't talk enough about what's going on from a mental health point of view. It certainly is a case. It's a huge stigma. Like I said, I've, I've had depression for many, many years and function normally on the face of things, uh, held a job down and ran a business, but I, I knew I was unwell. Did you seek help? After many, many years, I went to see a doctor and uh, I was diagnosed with depression, severe depression. But then again, wouldn't speak to anybody about it. I felt like a failure. I felt like it was a sign of weakness to, to openly admit that you had this depression. And I thought, I can shake it off, you know, I, mm. can, I, I can deal with it myself. I don't need anyone's help to deal with it, which was obviously not right. Did you share with friends and family? No, not no. not anybody at all. I think people knew. I think my close friends and family knew. Why do you think that is? Why do you think men feel that way? Is it just the way that society has stereotyped men for such a long time? Is the the phrase even "man up" that puts pressure on yeah. you straight away, doesn't it? Straight, it's, it's, yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head there. It's exactly that. Uh, I'm from a generation where if if you would dare mention that you weren't you feeling slightly unwell in the environment that I, you know, in the football team or in the pub, if you mentioned you yeah, you weren't feeling really well that day, people would just pull you down, and you know you'd have all the barroom banter, and so you were basically too scared Think. about what other people would think. Do you think being from the North East as well is, yes, an, is yeah. an added pressure? I think definitely so. I think the culture in the North East is a, is a, it's a very uh, masculine, macho culture. Yeah. You know, going back to the heavy industry and the things like that. And I think men were often perceived as, you know, being the breadwinner and being the, the strong role model in the house. And I think that we need to change that culture. That, you know, it's, it's OK for men to talk about not feeling well. And man health is how you hope to change that. So... Tell us how the sessions work then. I mean, is it, is it an anonymous thing? It's a, it's a drop-in session. Any, any, any man who's experienced depression or is uh, suffering with depression can come along. We open to anybody and men can just come in and uh, we do talk about our mental health in the sessions and, and we share our experiences and the men in the group will say, this has worked for me and that's worked for me and would you be willing to try that? We're very, very clear that we're not experts in, in mental health. What we are doing is we, we're sharing and supporting the men within the group and offering them an opportunity to talk to other men who've got lived experience of depression. Do you have access to, to kind of mental health professionals if needed? We are hoping to work with some counsellors from Sunderland University who have kindly offered to, to come and work with us if, they, if the men say that they want some counselling. Yeah. And, and we also signpost to all the other mental health facilities as well. But sometimes it's even just saying it for the first time, isn't it? And, and speaking the words... I need a bit of help. I still struggle with it now, Lisa. I, I, it's not something I, I openly say to people. I, I'm not feeling so good. I mean, you know, depression's very cyclical. I, currently, at the moment, I don't feel very, very well. But, you know, it's not something you would openly say to anybody. I, I, I'm not at my best at the moment. You wouldn't do it. And I still struggle with that now. Um, so what sort of response have you had then? I mean, you've had your first sessions, haven't you? How, how did they, how was it going? Well, fantastically well. We were overwhelmed. I mean... Um, That's kind of a good and a bad thing, it, isn't it, it really? Yeah, it, it, it was. We hoped to get quite a few men there. And we, the, the first few sessions have been really, really good, better than we could have hoped for. Yeah. And the feedback we've had in the group was that it's been really beneficial to them. So it's exciting, really, that we can, we can push on and open some more groups. It's exciting that it is helping people, but I think the fact you have been so overwhelmed and there were more people perhaps attending than, than expected, is it a sign that there just isn't the provision there that needs to be there at the moment? We all know about the cuts in the uh, NHS. There, 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 is a, there is a lack of services available for men, uh, available for anybody really. I think this is just a, just something else that can that complement them services. Yeah, I know? guess it's a first step as well, isn't it? If If people don't feel 
like going to the doctors yet or they don't feel like talking to a healthcare professional. It's a first step. We hope. I mean, the whole concept behind Man Health is that it's it's talking to somebody with a lived experience of depression yeah. and it's it's another man. We hope that some men will find it easy to talk to other men with a lived experience rather than talking to somebody else, a health, health professional, who may well not have a lived experience of depression. It's about being relatable, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it's all about, yeah, the, the shared experience. Shocking statistics, the North East has the highest rate of suicide in the UK. We know it's a fact that suicide is the, the, the biggest killer of men aged under 50. Uh, we have one man every two hours dying of suicide in this country. The World Health Organisation have predicted that depression will be the largest global burden of disease by 2030. So it's a huge issue and it's the thing is, it, if it's caught early enough, it, it is treatable and manageable. And hopefully that's what we can do with our peer support groups with Man Health. Yeah. I mean, you're from Shield and you've already kind of alluded to the fact that it's, it's expected of you to suck it up and get on with it, isn't it? Without a doubt, yeah. It's, uh, it is, it's the culture of the North East, which yeah. um, it's difficult. It's difficult to open up and admit that you need some support and need some help, definitely. So what are your hopes then? Paul for, for Man Health? Well, over the next three years, the aim of the project is to open up 21 peer support groups around the County Durham. And if it's successful and we, we can be refunded, it would, would hope to take the project national if we can. We really believe in it and the feedback we had, it's a much needed service and that's the plan. So someone's listening now and thinking, I need help. That sounds perfect. How, how would you get in touch? Uh, well, they can contact us via the website, which is uh, www.manhealth.org.uk. We'll respond to any emails we receive, or they can come along to the, any of the sessions that we have. Um, there's a location finder on the website, so they can find out where we're going to be. I would just, uh, just advise them, if they can't come to the session, just talk to somebody, really. That's the main thing. Don't keep it bottled up. Do talk to people about your depression.